here we are with game one we are loaded in and this is looking to be an absolutely crazy start here we got jazzy jazzy fabso and we also have zai on the side of the saints yeah the saints are in orange here and they get off to a pretty good start having the ball in West Virginia's half, but now it looks like Matter is taking matters into his own hands, but good defense from the Saints. Jazzy gonna hit that one away. Tool doesn't find that one. Angel, though, hits it up. Zai is there to contest it. Gets it up in the air. Nice touch there from Jazzy back to Fab. So can Fab so get anything done on this attack? Goes for the one one takes it over Matter. Ball's right in front of the net, and the finish comes through from Jazzy. A very quick goal for the Saints to get things started. A great kickoff for the Saints. One minute in, less than one minute in, and they are already in the leading position. And if I know anything about how they play Rocket League, they know how to press the advantage better than anybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how they play with this one goal lead. West Virginia now need to pick things up to get back into this one, but I don't think Saints are looking to let that happen, but it's gonna be a Ooh. shot on target and a quick answer from two. We're tied up by one piece and not even a minute played yet. Yeah, props to West Virginia. They just found something out of nowhere there. The Saints were just not able to keep up with such aggression coming out from West Virginia now. It's all back to even after one minute, two goals. This is looking to be an absolutely explosive match. Yeah, Jazz is going to look for a pass here. Zai is going to be the one to pass that one into the corner, but nobody is there. Angel will be able to hit that one away, but a nice 50 there stops the advancement, but Zai doesn't win that 50, and that's another shot on target, and looks like an own goal maybe there from the Saints. It's going to be West Virginia taking a 2-1 lead, and Saints just kind of looking a bit sloppy right now. Yeah, they were just, they're just not up the snuff on the defense it looks like it seems like west virginia just finding the net wide open time after time the saints might as well keep up maybe they just you know shake off some of the rust yeah and matter gonna look for another opportunity here but finally saints are able to slow things down Fab so looks for a pass over to jazzy jazzy looks for something off the wall to zai zai will be there takes it around one defender let's send it to the middle fab so is there beautiful wow. team play there coming out it's tied at 2-2 yeah, two to two, an absolute masterclass in teamwork here. I mean, look at Zai, go for the pass. And Fabso was just ready for it. Jazzy also on the line there. That's just something how they play a little bit differently, these European Rocket League players. They play so well with the passing game. Yeah, absolutely. Their passing is a top, top notch. And we're seeing it time and time again as they put two goals on the board now. Nice demo there from Jazzy, a crucial save. Two. There was Jazzy demos too. There was a shot on target there, but in the end, it's going to be West Virginia with the opportunity. Saints playing good defense. Now look to start the attack themselves. Zai taking it up the middle. Middle demo though for Matter stops Saints in their tracks. Stops them in their tracks. And now pass back over to Matter. Fabso trying to find an opening for his team. Passes it over to Zai, who passes it right back across the field. It's zigzagging here. Let's see if they can strike a lightning bolt here. They cannot, as now it's back over to West Virginia's control. Matter going for a big dunk here. Gets saved out by Fabso. And now Tool keeping up the pressure. Gonna set up with his team. And they're gonna get saved once again by Jazzy. The Saints are cleaning up their defense here. Yeah, Saints doing a way better job, having the extra men back. And now they start the counter. Jazzy, though, just missed it. So Matter will be able to hit that one now. Takes her at one defender. Only Zai was left back. It's a crucial 50, which allows Jazzy to take control of it. Angel, though, gets a ball in the dangerous position. It's going to hit off the post. Another nice knock there, but great save there from Zai. Able to keep that one out. The net Saints definitely doing a lot better on the defensive end. They just need to pick her up a little bit now, get a couple goals of security. Security goals now. Wow, up top trying to get a big set of your jazzy. Something here. It's so hard to break through the defense of West Virginia. Playing very, very well. But now there's an opening for Fob. So off the backboard, it's going to get cleared out by Tool. The Saints keeping up the pressure, trying to keep this ball on that blue side. We'll slip back over to that orange side, though, as Angel tries to get set up. Zai finds a touch though, will look for a pass towards Jazzy. Nice 50 there for Matter, but Jazzy's still there too. As she passes that one to the side. Now Angel can look to take it up, takes it around the defenders. Zai has to make the save, doesn't get the best touch, but all Saints are there ready to defend. Still, it's going to be West Virginia on the attack. Nice attack here from Angel. 
Nice defense from Jazzy. The follow-up from Tool isn't the best follow-up ever. Saints got away with one there, but Angel has a shot on target. Nice defense there for a second, but Angel takes things into his own hands and scores the third goal of the game. Yeah, now West Virginia is in the lead. The Saints need to try and keep pace here. One minute and 16 seconds left. It's very, very possible, but still going to be tough. I have a feeling West Virginia is now just going to play the defensive game. Yeah, they could play defense, but you don't want to lay back too much against the Saints. They can draw up some nasty plays if they have the space to work with. But they need a goal bad, and with a minute to go, they need to find something here to bring themselves back into this game. Angel finds that touch. It's going all the way back to Zai, who puts it on target, but Angel will save that one now relatively easily. Jazzy now has to do something, takes it around the defender, pass it back though. Saints need to move forward if they want to find something fab. So gonna be flying through the air here. Gets it over his defender. Nice little contest oh. there, but a great save from a matter. That was definitely an opportunity from the Saints. They're trying the bumps on the goal line, but West Virginia just have an extra player at all times, it seems like. 30 seconds left on the clock. You're gonna need a few more cross-ups like that to try and get this goal. West Virginia going all out on the defense here, just trying to keep the pressure on the Saints and not let them cook anything up here. Zai chasing the ball, trying to go for a pass, gets disrupted, trying to get one last touch, can't quite make it. 10 seconds left on the clock, and with the ball threatening the orange goal, it's not looking lightly for the Saints to come back here. Time is ticking. They cannot let this ball touch the ground, but there it is. That is going to be it, and that is going to be University of West Virginia taking that first. Game. A great game from them. A lot of goals early on, but once things settled down, West Virginia were the better team in that game. They scored the deciding goal there in the end, and Saints just could not get anything to go their way. Great defense from West Virginia when needed the most, and, you know, they take the 1-0 lead in this series. 1-0 lead. I believe this is a best of five, though, so yeah. there's lots of room for comebacks for the Saints, especially with how close that game was. I don't think this is going to be a sweep. This is going to be a long, hard-fought battle. I must agree with you there. And, you know, Saints do go down 1-0, but they look pretty locked in, not too disappointed with themselves there. So it's good if they can keep their heads in it for the rest of the series. And, you know, it's going to be a good start for the University of West Virginia. They're going to be playing with a lot of uh, momentum now in the second game. It's going to be all up to the Saints to shut that down early. Exactly. You know what? I'm seeing something here. He's drinking a coffee. It's so early in the coffee. morning. Our, you know, our, us gamers, we don't wake up. Yeah, yeah this is very early. early. <laughs> so we're still getting that, that the caffeine, waiting for the caffeine to kick in. And maybe this second game is where it kicks in for the Saints. And we are just about to get into the second game. Saints looking to bounce back here in this series. It's going to be Saints on the orange again. The demo comes through onto Fab, so two are gonna look for an attack, but now I think the Saints gonna clean it up a little bit on the defensive end. Zai looking for the one-on-one -on -one off the crossbar, and it's a wow. goal scored. Might have been his uh, own goal there coming out, but let's see exactly what happens. Zai puts the shot off of the crossbar. Doesn't go in immediately, but yeah, bounces off Matter there. And Saints quickly take the leading game too. Yeah, beautiful kickoff start for the Saints, but it happened last time. Let's see if West Virginia can match the pace they set in the last one. They need to get a goal and they need to get one soon, though. It would be so side. Disrupt that one. Take control of the ball. The Saints being so aggressive out of the gate already. I mean, another beautiful shot off the goal by Zai. Yeah, and the save is there from West Virginia, as it has been for the start of the series. Tool takes it around one defender. Jazzy has to do a lot here, not give up too much space. That's a good touch there. As the clear comes out, Angel will be there for an easy, easy save. But Zai is here for the follow-up. That's into the middle matter. Is there for the defense fab, so going to take it into the corner. Going to look for maybe a pass to a team. He gets the demo onto Tool, but Tool did get a crucial touch there. Still saying it's going to be on the attack. Jazzy finds it around one. Zai does not find the follow-up, Fabso looks for a shot, but it is saved the way. Saints looking to find a second. Find a second already. I mean, Zai going up top here, going for the high, reaching for the heavens, dodging all of them, and it's almost like Fabso stops him there, leading Jazzy for another pass, trying to fake them out. 
now up the right wall. Tool is finding a setup of his own, going from up high. Gets disrupted by Zai. Matter going to take the matters into his own hands. Go for a beautiful shot on the goal. Not enough momentum, though, to make something of it. Now Jazzy waiting here on the back line. Going to go for the disruption, try and get the control out of the hands of West Virginia. Comes up in the air right now, Fab. So doesn't get control of the ball. It's heading towards that orange net. It's perilously close. They need to get a good clean clear out here. They keep knocking it into this corner and West Virginia is always ready for it. They always have a player there to keep this ball in their hands. Yeah, West Virginia doing a great job of putting on the pressure. They are still down a goal. So Saints playing this defense, not making any very rational, rash decisions to lead to a mistake. And now they get a chance to break on the counter attack. It's a great shot on target there from Fabso, but great defense from West Virginia on the fast attack. Matter now, going for something. Fabso finds the clearance, but it's put back into the middle. Nice and clear there from Jazzy. That one is on target, but it's a great save from Angel. But still, Saints gonna have, gonna have numbers here. Beautiful control here from wow. Zai. Takes around a couple defenders and gives Saints the second goal they so much needed. This is a picture perfect solo goal right there. I mean, look at the control. It's tapping with that left wheel, <laughs> dunking it in there. That's going to put Saints at a 2-0 lead in this game. West Virginia has half of the match left to prove them wrong. Yeah, West Virginia were able to find a couple goals, and there is one in a few seconds. Saints just falling asleep on the defensive end. Only Fabso left here. Should be at least one more member. Actually, Jazzy and Fabso, I think, double committed for that one. They just needed an extra person on the ground there to clean that one up. Another mistake from the Saints, I want to say, but West Virginia capitalizing on it perfectly. Capitalizing on it perfectly, they matter. Hearing it very slowly there, going for a little bit of an interesting play. Tool gonna bounce it right back. Fabso on the defense, making sure nothing slips through. Again, they want to try and keep this lead. That is the barrier here, allowing them to play much more aggressively, but matter. Precarious goal and Tool just sinks it in. The defense from the Saints leaves something wanting here. I'm surprised Matter can hold it for that long. You can see Fab so tried to get up there. It's a nice save from Jazzy, but all Saints are just standing in their net. Gives West Virginia so much room to work with, and just like that, a two goal lead has been evaporated. And now, with two minutes remaining, it is absolutely anybody's game at this point. With how the momentum is swinging, I, I'd have to give it to West Virginia once again. Tool. Getting a demo on Jazzy. Angel watching it very carefully. Tool blocks it out of the sky, but Fabso keeping up the pressure. They need to get it clear. Fabso trying to make something here, but it's just too hard to get it past West Virginia's defense. They have a player on every single angle every single time. Yeah, it's a great job from West Virginia. They've really picked it up since going down 2-0. Another dangerous attack there, but a nice save from the Zai Angel now. And look for a pass into the middle. There was a demo to Fabso there, but Jazzy is it for the defense. You can see the Saints definitely taking a step back now. It's gonna be West Virginia with all of the pressure. It's a dangerous pass there in front of the net. Zai does pick it up and looks to break on the counter. Looks for a pass to Jazzy. Jazzy gonna take it up over one defender. Can he find a cross into the middle? Doesn't look like it. Angel will find a clear with one minute left. Anybody's game. Buddy's game, and it might be West Virginia's as they're keeping up the aggression. The Saints looking to bring this to an overtime at this point, oh. trying to reset the momentum. Beautiful we'll save by Jazzy. Needs to clear this out of the corner as it stays there too long. Is that West on Virginia. Wow, it's on oh. target across the field. Zai gets one out of nowhere, putting Saints in the lead with 40 seconds remaining. And we were talking about mistakes. This is a mistake from West Virginia University. They overcommit. They don't have nobody back in Zai with a beautiful full court shot. Nose just has to get on target for it to be a goal. And Saints take the lead. But these leads have been going pretty quickly for the Saints. 40 seconds left. They need to hang on and take this game too. Take this game too. And they're looking to take it in style. So they're keeping up the aggression. Not stalling this out at all. They want to secure a two-point goal lead. They don't want this to go to OT at all. They want to have zero chance. And now it's darting across the field. The ball is at an all-time high velocity here as both teams are just slamming it back and forth, fighting for dominance oh. here. And the Saints get lucky there as Matter barely misses the mark, but he gets the demo anyways. 
five seconds remaining. This is going to be it. The ball needs to touch the ground. The Saints will have their game, but West Virginia not going to let that happen. Jazzy tries to slam it, hits the ground, and that is going to be it. St. Clair getting the next game. And that was a very, very good game yet again. A 3-2 the result yet again. And Saints this time, even after losing the two-goal lead, are able to win the game with uh, immense pressure on their backs and a lot of momentum coming from West Virginia. So tied up at one apiece, now becomes a best of three. Yeah, this is looking to be very, very competitive. But West Virginia not looking to be a slouch at all. The Saints having to give their all just to be able to barely win by one point. This is not a landslide victory for them as we've seen in times past. This is such a competitive tournament. Yeah, I mean, after they took that two-goal lead, you almost thought to yourself that certainly they win the second game, but West Virginia did not go down without a fight. And as you said, this is just a great, great series of Rocket League. As now game three is going to get underway. Let's see who can strike first this time. Let's see who can strike first indeed. It has been the Saints time after time, but will they be able to keep this up? West Virginia is beginning to adapt to that beginning Saints game plan. The net's wide oh, open, beautiful see. defense from the and Saints. It's on target. It's on target, gets blocked out by a tool, but that's so much pressure on West Virginia. Yeah, that was almost a goal for both sides there. Great defense though from both sides, but that is a great attack from Matter, taking it by himself off of the top of the net. Beautiful touch there in Fab, so can't do much about that one. First lead goes to West Virginia. First goal goes over West Virginia. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining. Early goal. And Saints on the back foot here. They're looking to even this one up as quickly as they can. Yeah, the attack comes through. A nice little double save there from Tulo. Shuts the Saints down in their track. As now it's going to be a nice clearance there. West Virginia doing a great job defensively so far, of not allowing any mistakes to slip through his eye. Having to find that clearance gives it back. Now Fab, so going to start the attack for the Saints. But a nice 50 from Tulo stops that one immediately. Tool now Zai going on the aggressive here. Ooh. Wow, beautiful block by Jazzy, but the Again. onslaught's not ending, and Tool gets 2-0 for his team. I mean, West Virginia are just attacking relentlessly. An easy finish here for Tool. Nothing the Saints can do on that one, and it's just West Virginia are just playing absolutely great Rocket League at the moment. Saints gonna have to do a lot of work to get back into this game. So much work left to be done for the Saints. I mean, Tool has been an absolute unit as their goalkeeper. Maybe we want to see more demos come towards his way so he cannot get these crazy setups going. I mean, look at that. Tool always on the aggression. Jazzy barely blocking it out there. And they're just getting overwhelmed by the offense coming out from West Virginia. Yeah, it looks like the Saints are opting to kind of sit back and play that kind of defense. And it gives a lot of space for West Virginia to work with. Saints, now they need to stop worrying about the defense. They need to get on the attacking end of the play, but it's going to be Tool on the attack. Can the Saints defend this one? Nice shot there from Tool Fabso. Finds the save. Saints now going to look to counter attack. Here's I. Does get it over his initial defender, Tool, though. Will look to close out now, but it's passed right to Jazzy. Nice little bump there. It's around the goal, and Fabso should be able to tap that one in. Yes, he does. That's a goal that Saints needed badly. They only need one more to get themselves back into this one. They're capturing a little bit of that West Virginia aggression there, just sending all the players sequ sequentially at that goal line. Eventually, one of them's going to hammer it through. And we saw it right there. Now, only one more goal to get for the Saints to try and eat this one up. Yeah, and the bump there on the goal line was crucial. You were talking about they need to start disrupting the defense of West Virginia. And there's a demo coming out onto Tool still. The attack won't be stopped just yet. There's a nice little clear there from Zai, but Tool will pass it now and up. It's going to be Matter looking for an attack all by himself here. Nice defense though from Fab. So Tass gets it right back to Tool. Nice save there yet again from Fab. So making sure nothing speaks through. 
will squeak through. Oh, yeah, my ass, Jazzy barely saves it out. But the defense from the Saints is always ready right now, but the, here demo. comes the offense going for a big pass, but a demo from Tool shuts that right down. An open net, a long range goal is gonna need to be saved out by Fab, so it's in the corner here. They need to clear it out once again. West Virginia loves the corner, thrives in the corner, but it's gonna be passed back over to the net. The oh. defense needs to come through. A slow play by oh, Jazzy Jesus. almost makes it through. That 50 was almost a goal. Just hit that one on a perfect angle. Nice defense in the clutch though from West Virginia there. It's a shot on target. Pretty easy save for Zai. He's gonna try and start the attack for the Saints, but Matter let's get a 50 on that one. And a nice little position here for the Saints. It's in the corner. Tool will look to clear it out, but Jazzy takes it in. Great defense though from Angel. Will be there to defend it. The demo comes through, so Saints gonna regain control it again. Battling for control now. They need to get a goal and they need to get one soon as there's only a minute 30 or so left in the game. Jazzy just dancing around the battlefield here, waiting for a slip up and he finds a demo. This might be their chance. Zai goes for a crazy risky play there and gets the ball to Jazzy. Now they're crossing up the enemy. They might may be able to make it past here, but no, West Virginia gonna regain control. Yeah, West Virginia are doing everything they need, and now there's gonna be an opportunity here for Tool. Nice defense there from Zai, but still not dealt with. Jazzy will be there to defend. Only a minute left, though. Saints need to get on the attack here. Can't be playing defense at this point in the game. Jazzy gonna go for something, but no boost left. Nice defense there. The follow-up, though, from Zai is beautiful as Jazzy flies in from under. A nice little fake there as they tie it up at 2-2. We didn't even catch that. That was across the field. It came flying in like a bullet there from down under, sinking it in. And now with 40 seconds remaining, we might be seeing a first overtime. Could definitely be seeing an overtime here, but with how these games have gone, I would not be surprised if there's a winner in this regular time. Zai will look for the play. It's gonna be Fabso on the follow-up, but a crucial, crucial touch from Angel to stop that one early. Jazzy will look for that 50, gets the boost here. Now Saints do have maybe one final chance. Let's see what they can get done here. Angel gonna get hit in the air there, which gives matter. Bit of an open lane, Zai finds the defense there. There's gonna be no shot just yet. 10 seconds and counting. One more final opportunity, Jazzy finds the save. And Saints gonna start the counter now. Can we find a pass here? Zai looks for something, but the defense is there. And it looks like we're gonna be going to our very first overtime. It's looking like it, unless they can find it in the air here. Oh, it hasn't touched. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Great save from Matter, and now one more kickoff. There's been so many kickoff goals, I wouldn't be surprised if one comes through here in the overtime. Zai, risky rotation, but he gets it out of the hands of West Virginia. Beautiful play, and now Zai going for an aggressive play of his own. Can't find anything too much there. West Virginia doing a great job defensively, and Tool just dives in in front of his defender, gives up his uh, car there, but does get a crucial, crucial touch. And there's gonna be a shot very close to the target. Nice defense, though, from the Saints there in the clutch, making sure nothing squeaks through. Now should be a clearance coming through, but Angel takes around one. The pass to the teammate is there as West Virginia University find the game winner in overtime and take the series lead as 2-1. 2-1, the Saints now in a do-or-die situation being sent down to losers. It's going to be a tough position. You can tell, you can see the looks on their face. They feel like they shouldn't be losing these games, you know? Usually, they should be crushing these, but just something's not clicking right now. They need to figure out what makes West Virginia tick. I mean, defensively, they've been a little bit sloppy, I would say for the first few minutes of every game and then after like the three minute mark both teams just start playing amazing rocket league so yeah saints gonna have to lock back in here some <laughs> push-ups wow. done there i think every game they lose maybe do a few push-ups now i think the saints might be ready for the comeback you gotta get the blood pumping you know you gotta be ready and limber for these next coming games i believe that's jazzy who just did the push-up, so let's see if that, that gave him a little bit of strength in the next game. A little bit more power to kick that ball. Yeah, I mean, and keeping up the good vibes, even when you're down to one is very, very important as we are getting started in this game for do or die for the Saints. West Virginia looking to close out the series here and take a 3-1. Now Saints have a need to win two games in a row to bring this one back. Just keep your on the ball. It's just one more game you have to win. 
West Virginia getting a demo, keeping up the aggression matter, blocking it out. Like absolutely crazy mind games with the Saints here. And you always got to keep an eye on Tool. He's always cooking something up on the offense. Saints have to be careful on this defense. They are playing a very, very risky game where one good shot could be the end of them. It's West Virginia look for something Zyme. We'll look for the clear jazz. He did get demoed, which means he's going to be down the member for a few seconds, which allows West Virginia to keep the aggression going. Saints just can't even get it out of their half at this point. West Virginia doing a great job. That's a dangerous cross. But now Saints are triple committing to this defense, making sure that nothing can go through. Now they look to start the attack. But they're struggling to do so. Fab so finally will give some control over to the Saints. If they need to play some offensive games to score some goals here. The offense here. They're just going to play a little bit differently. Try and run on the clock, clean up the defense, and swoop in a little bit closer to the end. They don't want to keep trading, but maybe they do as they oh, get a beautiful demo. bounce here. A demo that Zai just unable to find the setup. Could have been a goal there for the Saints. Great defense coming out from West Virginia University, though. It's still tied at 0 0, but now Saints are showing some signs of life. But this defense from West Virginia has been really, really good so far. It's so hard to break through. They are just playing so well, keeping the Saints at bay. Trying to go for any shots and demos, just being traded left and right matter as an open goal. They need to play the defense here to get it off the respawn, get two player back, back into this. He passed up above the goal. Wow, almost a goal right there. It's just so crazy. Now, Saints have an open net. The rotation's going to come through for West Virginia. They're not going to be able to do anything. Papso has that in the corner here. Can find a pass to Zai. Now, was I going to look for something, but Matter is there to slow things down. West Virginia looking to retake control. Angel has to find a crucial touch there. It's going to be able to take it up to half field now. Only one defender to beat. Zai against Angel. The save comes through a big demo onto Tool. He was ready to follow that one up. And Saints going to maintain this a tight game, but it's a very, very tight game here. That could have been a goal right there. Saints playing very, very risky on the defensive side, but it's paying off so far in this game four. It's paying off, but it's getting really close for comfort. There's been a lot of close goals on the side of West Virginia, and the Saints, they're getting close to the goal, but they have not found a good, clean shot just yet. They need to find something. Hopefully, tire out West Virginia's defense by keeping this pressure up and keeping this game going. But it's looking to be the opposite. Another huge save there from Jazzy against two. And now the counter is here. Fabso going to find the shot of Saints on the counter attack. They play that risky type of defense to set this kind of attack up inside. Beautiful pass. Fabso one on one slots it in. Saints take the 1 0 lead. 1 0 lead. There's still two minutes left in this yeah. match, though. We're just a little over halfway through. And now West Virginia is going to kick it up into high gear. They were just playing it out from now. But now you can tell they're looking a little bit desperate. And hopefully that lets the Saints find a little bit of cracks in the plans. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be West Virginia probably playing a little bit more aggressively now as they need a goal to tie it up. The Saints have been good so far defensively this game. Need to keep that up. And this could be a second goal here for Zai. Can he get on target? No, he can't do that. Matter will be there for the defense. You can see on the counterattack, Saints definitely having some opportunities here as Fab. So looks for a pass. Angel will be there for the clear. But this is very, very good for the Saints. The more time they can spend attacking, the higher the chance of them scoring a second goal and taking a crucial game four. And there it is. There it is, Jazzy getting the 2-0 for the team. This is looking absolutely immaculate from the Saints. One minute remaining. West Virginia now has a very tough task of trying to keep this one up. I don't see it being possible. I don't want to cast a curse this for them to take it into the lead. I can definitely see them tie it up though. As you can tell, they're breaking it out very quickly here. One minute remaining left on the clock. Saints putting up the aggression, trying to secure a three goal lead at this point. They've realized what makes West Virginia go. West Virginia needs to try and adapt. Yeah, Saints gonna try and get all the momentum possible for this possible game five. If they can win this one now with a larger scoreline, 
definitely demoralized West Virginia a little bit of Hab. So gonna look to extend that lead to three. Takes it against two. Zai is there for the follow. A nice defense from Matter. Jazzy gonna hold on to this one, but Saints doing a great job of burning some clock here. Pretty easy save there for Fab. So gets a pass over to Zai. Zai 1v1 against Tool. Wins that one now, but a nice clearance over to Fab. So again, puts it into the corner. Gets it right back with good defense from West Virginia. But I think with 15 seconds left, Saints should be looking golden here. And a great save there from Zai yet again. Makes sure that this game does in fact go over to the Saints. Yeah, this is definitely going to go over to the Saints. I mean, Jazzy just dancing around with his ball. Those push-ups did him good. Yeah. Just, you just need a little bit more muscle mass for that <laughs> next game. So hopefully he keeps up that trait and keeps things going. And the Saints are going all the way here to game five. Yeah, game five, definitely both teams very, very nervous. Saints, though, going to have the momentum here. They did win the last game, and they are riding off a highway. West Virginia, first time this entire series, a team has gone without a goal. A whole series, you have to think, what does that do to a team mentally? You're West Virginia, you're going to have to hope it doesn't do all too much, but it seems like it's doing a little bit here as in the Saints have found their flow. They found how to dance around West Virginia. I mean, these goals are looking so clean, so aggressive. But now, West Virginia amping up the demos to try and disrupt any flow the Saints have. Yeah, a couple of nice bumps there from West Virginia against them. A pretty dangerous opportunity, but they can't follow up on that tool. Gonna find the demo yet again. The Saints getting obliterated on those demos. Hasn't led too much yet, but in a crucial time could lead to a goal. Is now the attack for the Saints gonna start off. Here's I. Gonna look for a cross. Gets it around one defender. Gets around the second and Jazzy flies right in. Beautiful team play there <laughs> from the Saints. They're gonna be very happy with that goal. Uh, just not the best defense there from Tool. It gets <laughs> dribbled around there and just when the ball's in front of the net, good things happen happen for the attacking team and they just find a random punch in there and take the 1-0 lead. Just send Jazzy an absolute missile to just blow yeah. through all the defense and secure the goal. As now Jazzy gonna look to start the attack. Defense gonna come through. Saints with a beautiful start to this game five. They've had the lead every game except the one yet West Virginia has found their way back into the into these games so Saints definitely can't let the foot off the gas pedal Jazzy has been so good on the defensive end here Zai does get demoed out but maybe a shot on target here matter should have quite an easy save Saints good, doing a good job of not letting West Virginia be on the attack not letting them move at all Zai keeping up the defense very clean Jazzy passing him back and forth Fab so trying to line something up here they're just trying to secure it through even bigger goal line. Now, Zai needs to play the defense carefully as now West Virginia is slipping through, amping up the aggression. Jazzy blocking it out beautifully. They need to get a good clear. It's off the top. Tool getting control, but now even better disruption for the Saints gets it on their net. And a save. And the clear comes out from Matter. Good pass over to Jazzy, but can't find the shot there. Gets the demo, and that's a shot on target. Zai is there for the defense. Two minutes gone by, three minutes away. Saints are from taking this game five. Moving on to the finals, that's almost a nice play there. Didn't get the pass though, but Zai is still in this corner. Battling it out, but the demos from West Virginia have been really good so far this game. They've made a lot of space with those demos, and now they're gonna get full control of the ball as they need to start a big attack here to put some pressure on Saints. I think the pressure on the Saints is just gonna be crazy here. We're halfway through the game now, and Zai and Jazzy, the dynamic duo, trying to line something up here. It's gonna get blocked out. Fabso now in the corner, going up high, trying to find something. Everybody's just clamoring for this ball. You can see the desperation, the nerves are trying to set in for both teams. They both want to go to this final spot. You don't want to be sent down to losers at this point. And Fabso finds a beautiful setup, cannot get the single, oh. but there's Jazzy once again. Securing the goals for the team. 
beautiful follow-up there from a Jazzy. Yet again, and the finish is perfect. Right into the corner, no chance of stopping that one. Now Saints are just two minutes away from pulling off the comeback and making it to the Grand Finals. They're so close, but West Virginia is just as close. They don't want to let this game die off here. They know they can bring it back. They're just one game away. They are going to lock in and try and turn this one around. Both Saints, the two goal lead, have so much more flexibility here. Yeah, Saints just need to stall out this clock, but a third goal definitely would not hurt. Neither team has had a three goal advantage all series long, so Saints in the most important times, really turning it up a notch here. It's West Virginia just haven't gotten many chances these last few games. They've been whole sc held scoreless for the last eight and a half minutes of Rocket League, and they've been struggling really hard on this attack, but I think that just speaks volumes on how good the Saints defense has become. Oh, that was almost an own goal set up there by West Virginia. You can definitely tell the nerves are rising. They do not want to screw up here. They played so well in the last few games, but now St. Clair has found what makes them tick the silver bullet to kill the werewolf here. And now Jazzy and Zai just keep on putting up the pressure, trying to line something up here. One minute remaining left on the clock. It's right in front of the goal. Jazzy going in like a bullet once again, trying to pierce through the armor of West Virginia. They're not letting it happen. They're not letting their dream die here. Yeah, Saints just have to not overcommit on those attacking sequences. And this game should be all she wrote. And they're still on the aggression, even with only 40 seconds left, a two-goal lead. They want to get this insurance. And wow. it is Zai will be able to find that one. And that should wrap it up. Three-goal lead with 40 seconds left. Saints should be moving on to the grand finals. And like you said, we have not seen a three-goal lead this series yet. And now with 38 seconds remaining, West Virginia now has the insurmountable task of matching that to even get it to overtime, which I just do not see happening. Yeah, Saints, I think they know they're 30 seconds away from winning here. We'll definitely try and just not make any silly mistakes to give West Virginia even the slightest a bit of hope because Rocket League, that's all you ever need, Jazzy. We'll look to find something there. Look at all the devils though coming out. It looks like a go will go over to West Virginia. So maybe we spoke a little bit too soon, but I think with 12 seconds left and two goals to score, still a lot of work to be done. It's a lot of work. It's not impossible, but it is very improbable for West Virginia to get two back-to-back -back goals here in 12 seconds. The Saints now, the smartest move is just to stall out the clock, keep the aggression up so they have to turn it back over, cross the field, back and forth, play a bit of ping pong. And with one second remaining, that is going to be all she wrote. It touches the ground and St. Clair takes it back from the brink, advancing to winner's finals. Yeah, that was a very, very close series, but congratulations to the Saints as they do make it through three to two. A great, great series from both teams, but towards the end, West Virginia outscored five goals to, to one in those last two matches. I think they just ran out of steam, but Saints showed how good they are in the clutch and are able to close it out. Yeah, it's just an absolute masterclass of a game to watch. You can see the adaptation that came through for both teams. St. Clair came out swinging, but West Virginia, they adapted very well for two games. But in that fourth game, St. Clair, Jazzy just did some push-ups, warmed <laughs> up those hands, and <laughs> got in here and danced on them. You know, he just yeah. got in there. And it was just an absolute missile launching himself into that goal like three times, I think, in game four and in game five, just securing those goals because they're always just off by a little bit there. Yeah. I mean, that was just a great series, but I think we're going to be wrapping it up for us today. Our Saints are going to be streamed by Rocket, Rocket League themselves, themselves yeah. exactly. So head over on over to there we're gonna i think read them as well so yeah we'll just thank our sponsors real quick thank you very much to tim horton subway and alienware and we can't forget the st Clair src and the st Clair college alumni association and thank you viewers for watching here go have fun more rocket league action over on the rocket league channel and we'll see you again later this week